In 2009, the unimaginable happened to our next guest. He's our colleague and friend, Gerard McClendon, and he was working right here at WGN when the news spread that his parents had been murdered during a home invasion, changed his life forever. But born from that grief is an incredible story of forgiveness and a legacy that lives on honoring Milton and Ru Ruby McClendon's love for education by way of a scholarship. Gerard is here to tell us all about it, or as I like to say, GML yes. in the studio with us. <laughs> it's great to see you. It's, great to see it's, you. It's a pleasure. Thank you so much for having me. So tell us, let's start with your parents mm -hmm. and tell us about them and the legacy that they live leave yeah Milton and Ruby McClendon you know uh, our parents just good honorable wholesome people you know who worked hard uh, my father retired from the Postal Service he was a Korean War veteran you know uh, my mother you know was one of the first um, Chicago receptionists at at the time uh, Illinois Bell you know and uh, eventually went on to work at Pullman Standard and and you just beautiful people they would give you the shirt off their backs you know and uh, they raised us with that saying love and respect and honor you know and I, I miss them dearly oh, I, I really do and I uh, was looking at the pictures of them and that love that you talk about it was so evident like that picture of them cutting the cake oh, together man. Man, you know, Gaynor, that was their 54th wedding mm -hmm. anniversary, you know, and uh, they were inseparable. I mean, like, if, if you called one of them, the other one was nearby, you know. Of course, vacations were never separate. They were always together, you know, and yeah, uh, that was their, one of their anniversaries. And it's just sad because on their 54th wedding anniversary, uh, that was the weekend when they were uh, taken from us. That was the weekend when two young teenagers decided to, you know, invade my parents' homes with the ruse that they had car trouble. My parents being the parents that they are, they let them in. And, uh, and you know, of course, the rest is, uh, is tragic. And so that happened in 2009. And since then, you have been on this journey of forgiveness. Yes. Talk to us about what that looks like and how you are also documenting that for people to be able to see and experience as well. So when something bad happens to you, Gaynor, you have a choice. You can retaliate, you can harbor the anger, you can disseminate the anger, you know, you can hurt someone, or you can say, you know what, I'm gonna flip this. I'm going to lead with love, respect, honor. I'm going to show the world that people can still love in a corrupt, brutal, murderous society. And so that's the message that we're trying to get across, you know, with the scholarship and some of the other content that we're creating. You know, uh, this wonderful quote, you know, if you see a flower on the concrete, and you crush it with your heel, the flower forgives you by giving you the fragrance, fragrance from the crush. That's what human beings have to do. We have to get to the point, Gainer, where we can use love to be the thing that is the balm over any pain that we have. And when we get to that point, we'll become better people. We'll become a better neighborhood, a better society. But, uh, but right now, you know, this country and this world is in a bad way because people don't forgive. And so your parents were all about education. It was just the natural next step for you to help empower other young people to yeah. get their education yeah, and their they, memories, right? Yes, see, you're on it, Gainer. They stressed that. They stressed mm -hmm. that. They said, you know what? If there's one way of getting out of poverty, it's being educated. If there's one way of being a more civilized human being, it's to learn something. Uh, if, if, you, if you're in a bad situation, how do you get out of that situation? Read a book, 
ask for guidance, get a mentor or a sponsor or a coach. And so they believed in education at its highest level. And this is why we created the scholarship at the Milton and Ruby McClendon uh, Foundation. How how many people have you been able to help? How many students have you been able to help since the scholarship started? And what has that meant for you personally? I can't stop smiling because in every scholar that we fund, I see my parents' legacy educating people. And so we've had the opportunity to give 12 scholarships over the last 10 years. And we have given to the Hammond Education Foundation. And we've given to the Sheila A. Doyle Foundation. And we've also uh, individually had scholars get scholarships from the fund. So we're excited. We're excited. In fact, the most recent scholars are Aaron Perez and uh, Liana Bowles. So we're, we're just happy. We're over over the moon. Okay, and people can apply right now, right? Yes, they you can. You have to be an Indiana resident? Yes. Got it. The scholarship is given to a graduating high school senior or college student from Lake County, Indiana, who will attend Purdue, Northwest Purdue, West Lafayette, uh, The Ohio State University, or Wabash College, and uh, you can find more information on how to apply on your website. Tell us that. Yes, McClendonFoundation.org. Right, learn more about the Milton and Ruby McClendon Memorial Scholarship. You have to apply by February 1st, and again, that website is McClendonFoundation.org. Gerard McClendon, live in studio. <laughs> Thank you so much, it's great to see you. Gainer, I appreciate you. And we'll be right back.